do you think you're going, Bunch? In the hotel? Uh-uh, it's closed. Closed? Why, it can't be. I've been stopping at the Great Western every trip for 28 years. Not this trip, Bunch. We're wrecking the joint. Huh? Yep. Two of the most beautiful cows you ever seen. <laughs> You're not thinking of working this job, Mason. Yeah, why not? Because I say so. We don't need any jinxes around. Now shut your mouth or I'll fill it full of teeth. Let go. You've jinxed up every job we've ever been on. Let go, let go. So you asked me. Right? <laughs> Well, if it isn't a human hot foot, how are you, dude? You know me, Matt. Always on top when you need me. Yeah. <laughs> What's the trouble here? Ah, this hoodoo thinks you're going to sign him on. <laughs> Come on, Duke. Well, tell him to lay off them cracks. Mr. Matt, you give you job, huh? I'm afraid not, Joe. This Great Western's a tough baby. Twelve stories of rotten timbers and 40-year-old cement. Duke, boys feeling the way they do, I'm sorry. I just can't give you a job. Well, I'm sorry, too, Matthew. But maybe this will change your mind, Mr. Carney. So you conned the boss into giving you a job, huh? Michael Glendy still thinks I'm the hottest cannonball man in the business. Mike's the boss. Grab yourself a customer. Thanks, Matthew. Come on, back to work, boy. Billy broke my hand on that phone. Well, Billy, uh, oh, <laughs> that one's mine. <laughs> Gee, Duke. Having your back's like taking a double header. I got somebody to pitch to now. Say, how is the old Super Bowl, Oh, the doc says just as soon as I have a chip chopped out of the elbow, I'll be right back in the big leagues pitching again. Glad yeah. to hear it. Hurry up, you lugs. Stop rushing you. <laughs> I sure am going to enjoy pulling this one apart. Why this any more than any other? I spent a night here once. <laughs> Oh, 
Jocko, what is it? Grab yourself a toothpick. I got a job for you. Anything to please, Toots? The water tower. You'll love it. <laughs> top job for the top guy, huh? Kind of slippery up there. It might save me a lot of trouble. You wouldn't want to come up with me, would you? No, 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 you better not. The wind might chap those lips. I'll come along. It'll keep you from getting any dizzier. Come on. Carney's putting Duke on the water tank. Yeah, I'm taking out more insurance tonight. You'll need it. So they got weak-minded Major Brass Hat, huh? I must write that to that little redhead in Boston. You mean the one I took away from you? you took away from me. I wasn't interested. Dame, you're not interested in. Stop breathing. Yeah. Come on, move. Ow! Come on, match your soul. <laughs> Slow it up, Duke. Must have had the soft living in Detroit. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Get old. <laughs> Great up here. Ah, all right, go to work. Crack her open. Hey, look. Woo! Mm, that's great. <laughs> kind of high. Like ants. Yeah. So you couldn't take them to Detroit, huh? No, nah, they had me glued to an assembly line. Nothing but nuts and nuts and nuts and bolts. I thought I was going nuts. You didn't have far to go. <laughs> Very funny, Matthew. Hi, hi! Take it easy up there. That jinx belongs in a circus. Ah, you just got crazy idea about him. Jinx, jinx, jinx. That stinks. Yeah? Who was his partner on that grain elevator in Finnegan? Finnegan, wasn't it? So what happens to Finnegan? The cannonball flattens him. What's an accident? An accident? The cable bust. Oh, sure, sure, sure. In Chicago, it's Lou Gamby. Trips over a board and falls 16 floors. And who left the board there? Ah, uh, you're crazy. And poor Charlie hopping around down there with that crippled gam. That was Mason's fault. How you figure, huh? How you figure? Charlie got hit by truck four block away from job. How you figure, huh? Ah, uh, his jinx spreads out in all directions. But it ain't gonna get me. No, sir. I got me a charm, see? <laughs> oh! Oh, what was that? What happened? Take a look. Is it bleeding? What's that out of my ear? Yo! Come on, Songbird. Give me a hand, will you? My own work to do. You're gonna make an awful splash down there, Matthew. Duke! <laughs> I'll bust your head wide open if I ever get out of this. <laughs> Funeral, only 125 bucks. Have you got 125 bucks? Duke. I doubt it. <sighs> Wise guy. <laughs> Come on, Duke. I gotta help. <laughs> All right. Come on, Duke. Bend the hand. <sighs> Steady. Go. Steady. There you are, sonny boy. Oh, here you go. Oh, thanks, Duke. Not a double. Oh. Yeah. Eyes high. Sure, Mr. Duke. You never see Freddy when he pitch for sucks. One, two, three, he strikes him out. Yeah. Once they lose the arm, they never come back. He's just kidding himself. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> now you're cooking, Freddy. It broke, huh? Sure, you ought to get that operation on that elbow. You're wasting time. Gee, Duke, I ain't saved enough dough yet. Oh, we'll find that. Now, give me the hook, just an easy one. All right, I'll try it. Gee, Duke.
Duke, I must have torn my arm off. the boss. <clears throat> Who, us? Yes, you. You lunatics. What do you mean, smashing up my windshield? Break the windshield of my car, will you? But, Mrs. O'Glendy, I was just pitching to do... Well, pitch yourself into that shack and I'll get your clothing paid. You see what I mean, Mike? After all, Freddy was a great pitcher once and he's gonna be again. You'll be proud to say he once worked for you. Ouch! Oh, listen, Mike, it ain't like you. I've always said that Michael Glendy was as good a sport as any guy. Now, you ask anybody. I always said... There's the one o'clock whistle. What are you standing around here for? Oh, Mike, you're a darling. And if you can ever forget about Mr. O'Glendy, you have me phone number. Go on, get out of here. What do you think I'm paying you for? Scram now. Hi, Matthew. Needs more trouble than a case of the hives. Don't he remind you of Mr. O'Glendy? God rest him. Is that why you hired him? Why aren't you using the cannonball up high, Matt? Too risky. Maybe after we knock off the top six floors. But this building is termite rotted. It might wind up in the middle of Fourth Street. No, do it your own way. But we've got to get out of here by the first of next month. You never drove us before. Never had to before. Mike, did you put up a bond? Ten thousand. Well, I had to. With every piece of equipment in Hawk, I had to have this contract. Holy smokes. Go ahead, say it. No dame has any business to try to run a wrecking crew. Oh, I didn't mean that, Mike. When Mr. O'Glendy passed on, I swore I'd keep his crew going or bust. This looks like O'Glendy's last stand. Twelve stories in four and a half weeks. And the first lug that sits down on this job will get a crowbar over the seat of the pants. All right, but I'd like to get more dough myself. How'd you like to put your knuckles with me, Joe Parska, your wife? Huh? Excuse me, boss. My wife is calling me. Go ahead, Joe. Thanks, boss. Now, look, boys, this isn't just a question of money. Hey, Martha, why you call me? I am busy. What? You got what? Boy, 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 I'm talking to you. Hey, fellas, I got the baby. Oh, fine, Joe. What is it, a boy or a girl? Uh, it, it is a... Uh, I don't know. Excuse me. <laughs> hey, listen to this. <laughs> Marta, Marta, what he is? Boy or girl? What? Oh, you tak już szczęśliwy, Marusia moja. Marta, Marta, oh no. Don't bother. This shirt clean enough. You rest today. You do washing tomorrow. Goodbye, Martha. Goodbye. <laughs> He's a boy. He's a boy and a big one. Hey! Congratulations. How good he'll be president? No, he'd be more. He'd be better. He'd be best dang wrecker in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, I invite everybody Saturday night. My baby's christening. <laughs> plenty to eat and plenty wine. <laughs> Dream. You know, if you have many more of these, Joe, I'll be out to here. <laughs> oh, it's the father. Oh, the father. Yeah. Good hey. evening, Mrs. Posca. Here, give them to me, Father. I'll put them out in the kitchen to dry. Thank you. I'm so sorry you had to come out in the rain, Father. Oh, my daughter, rainfall during a christening is considered a sign of good fortune. You bet your father, my kid is going to have great fortune. He's going to wreck the skyscrapers when he grows up. <laughs> Behave yourself, Joe. He's so full of wine already. Uh, everybody, uh, meet uh, uh, Father Zabriskie. <laughs> How are you? How are you? How are you? Well, which is to be the godfather? Yeah, got to pick up a godfather. Uh, Duke, shake hands with Father Zabriskie. Father Zabriski, shake hands with Godfather. Oh, <laughs> sure, Joe, but I've never been one before. <laughs> you don't want him. He'll put a hoodoo on the kid. Oh, I, I don't yeah. really, I don't okay, I, I'll bring little Joe. Wait a minute. Maybe I'll type. You want a good steady guy, Joe. Somebody that your kid can look up to. Sure, but the... Um, how about Matt? Sure, he's studying to be an engineer. He's the kind of a Godfather your kid ought to have. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, give the boss a break. That's okay. Uh, Mr. Matt, uh, you be godfather? Yeah, Joe, I, I'd love to. Well, Joe, you can bring in the baby now. Okay, father. 
Marta, maybe you better bring him. Always I pick him up. He screams and holler. <laughs> <laughs> it's Charlie. Come in, Charlie. Have oh, some wine. Mr. Carney, that piece of wall sticking up on the top floor, well, the rain must have loosened it. Some of the bricks started falling in the street. If you don't level it, it'll fall and kill somebody. All right, hurry back, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, fellas, get your coat. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Joe, we won't be long. No, no, I go with you. Uh, you, Father, wait, we'll be I'll back. Well, you stay here. Uh, no, 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 I have to do my job like everybody. Joe, sure, you don't want that kid to grow up and think that his father's a petunia. You, Joe, Joe, not a petunia, petunia, what you What's say? the matter? What happened? Don't worry, Martha. You better take care, ladies. We'll be back quick. And, and don't let little Joe drink too much. Right, Joe, <laughs> and I am going to Luciana with the banjo on my knee. With the banjo on my knee. Banjo on my knee. Joe, that baby will have a beard by the time we get back. <laughs> you betcha. Come on, Duke. Say, Joe, wait a minute. Let's clear these bricks out. Set them down the chute. Come on. Sure, we don't want to pick somebody up here. That's right. Night, my baby gets crushing. <laughs> Easy now. Down the well with them. One, two, three. It's no use, Freddy. It's... It's no use. We do. I don't think that... It isn't your fault, Duke. Don't well, let me alone, will you? Thank you, brothers. Now, friends, we want you to read this little pamphlet. There you are, brother. Here, brother. Here, sister. Here, sister. Oh, bless you, brother. Your generosity will lighten some poor soul's burden tonight. Here, read this text on Providence. Just keep the dough, buddy, and lay off the mohula. Here you are, brother. There you are. Get out of here. Take your filthy hands off me. Uh, stay out. You heard the lady. Oh. So you want to get tough, huh? Oh! I better not order a drink in there. I... Hey, wait a minute. Hey. You know, a guy usually gets thanked for things like that. Thanks. Look, what's the matter? What's he shoving you around for? Oh, come on. Well, if you must know, I was trying to steal money from a drunk. Oh, will you leave me alone? What well, is this, a rib? You don't look like the kind of a Yeah, girl. I don't look like the type that sleeps in a park. It's just what I've been doing. Now I get to stealing, and I find I can't even do that either. Why don't you leave me alone? Hey, you got it bad, ain't you? Well, if that's the case, what happens now? The river. What is this, a racket? Trying to soften me up so I'll slip you a couple of bucks? Hey, wait a minute! Well, anyway, if somebody's going to jump in the river, they don't stand around and talk about it. They go ahead and do it. All right, mister, all right. Here's a bridge, sister. I knew it was a gag. I just wanted to see how you was going to pay it off. Holy man. All right, so you was kicked around a little. You didn't get all them doodads you wanted. I wanted to eat. You think you've got troubles? Listen, a little while ago, a guy was killed. A swell guy. With a nice wife and a brand new kid. Might have been my fault, I don't know. But did you see me heading for the river, huh? Yeah. That's the easy way out. You gotta have moxie, see? And you gotta keep pitching. Yeah, you better take this. Are you sure you're not being a sucker for a racket? 
Ah, get yourself a room and a good night's sleep and then take another whack at it. Hey, Duke, the guy's got a game start. Freddy? Well, uh, uh, I figured you was feeling kind of low and, uh, well, they got a crap game started down in Red's room and I thought, but, uh, well, I didn't know that you had something else to do. A crap game? I ain't got nothing else to do. Oh, stick your eyes back in your head, Freddy. That's my cousin. Oh, <laughs> pleased to meet you. Hello. Well, come on. Oh. Uh, yeah, loan me a couple of these, will you? And uh, turn out the lights when you leave. So long, kid. Come on, Freddy. Come on, you're behind him. Feed him if you All want. All right, I'll there. take it. Here we go. Shut him Oh, oh, okay, shoot the floor. Okay, you got I'll it. I'll take one. And he's getting good. <laughs> he was How are you, fellas? Say, I just heard about Joe Posca. That was too bad. I'm sorry. It just slipped out. You know better than that. When one of our guys goes, he goes. We don't gab about it, neither. I'm sorry. All right. Then see that you remember and keep your big mouth shut. All right, go ahead. They're your dice. Come on, Duke. Roll them. That's a suck. Okay. You're hot in the pistol. I got three of them now, boys. Go ahead. I got one. Look at it. Here we go. Getting good. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was Duke Mason's room. It is. Would you mind telling him Matt Carney, his boss, was by? I thought he might need some cheering up, but now I guess he doesn't. Oh, don't get the wrong idea. I'm Peggy Starr, his cousin. Oh. Yeah, I got soap coming over from the station. Duke insisted that I stay here and dry up. Where'd he go? Well, he said something about a game. Oh, they started a crap game. That's fine. I don't understand, Duke. First he tells me about a friend being killed and then goes out to gamble. Well, you see, if the boys sat around and brooded, they'd never get back to work. So when one of them gets killed, they go out and get crocked, gamble, and get it out of their system. Oh, I see. If they didn't, they'd have to find some other business, which might not be a bad idea. See, I, I just came back from telling the widow and... What am I standing here making speeches to you for? I didn't know that Duke had such a nice cousin. Thanks. You don't suppose he'd mind if you went out with me and had a cup of coffee or something? I See, I haven't got a thing to do. And... <laughs> Neither have I. Well, fine. As I did have. My plans have changed. Well, I hope they're changed for the better. Well, here we go. Boy, you sure had a lucky break. Not bad, not bad. I'm going to charge you room. Thanks for you to the hall, Red. Come on, let's go eat. Yeah, you're going to have to take me. I'm broke. Say, I got a drink down in my room. Now you're cooking with gas. Come on, fellas. Let me down a minute. Next time, I'll bring my dice. I got a charm, baby. Here, count that, will you? Here's some more. And some more. Hey, wait a minute. What's that? Providence mission. Save ye one another. For him who saves another, the reward is swift and certain. Providence will shower blessings on his head. Hey, maybe that's it. I never had this luck before. What? Providence. You heard of that, haven't you? Certainly. It's in the Eastern League. Not a bad ball club, either. No, listen. Save ye one another. Hey, I pulled that dame out of the river. And that ain't spinach. Ah, that's just stupid stitching. Yeah, so is my jinx. But that don't keep guys from getting hurt around me. I don't believe in it. That's because you're dumb, Freddy. If a jinx can be true, so can a lucky charm. Come on, baby. I got myself a rabbit's foot. I'm going to keep her around. I'd keep her around, but not for a rabbit's foot. She's gone. But, Duke, you told her to beat it. She didn't have to believe me, did she? Well, and there goes my lucky streak. Say, I know the hat tech girl at the Swanee Club. That... What's the matter? Smell something burning? Take your hand off. Oh, she might have a friend. Maybe you'll draw another lucky one. I can feel my money burning a hole in your pocket. Come on. Yeah. Friends, we bring you our mission. Save ye one another for your reward is certain. Wait a minute, Freddy. I'll be right back. It just means helping each other every day in some little way. You said it, brother. Say, this guy ain't kidding, folks. And I'm here to prove he's the real McCoy. Only this evening he gives me that dope about saving one another. And what happens? I fish a babe out of the river, and then I get in a crap game and bingo. I win nearly 300 bucks. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, and you can all go and do likewise. <laughs> Here, I'm splitting with you, brother. I'm afraid you misconstrued my message, brother. Oh, no, I didn't. I saved another. And if it wasn't Providence that helped me make those 13 straight passes, I don't know what else. <laughs> hey, Freddy, come on. Bless you, brother, bless you. Number 14, brothers. Say, you must have been hungry. No, I'm just hoarding. Ah, <laughs> that do. Say, where's he been keeping you in a vault? I haven't seen him much. What a character. Sometimes I get so sore at him, I... Oh, speak of the devil. Excuse me. Hello, Duke. Hello, Matthew. Just over there getting chummy with your cousin. Yeah? yeah. My cousin? Yeah. I'd like to get a priority on her. Come on over to the table and put in a good word for your boss, will you? I can think of a word, but I'm too polite tonight. Huh? Hope you don't mind. Oh, Matt? Matt's my dearest friend. Yeah, only a few days saved my life. Thank sure. You. you see, the kid here needs her. And with your breeze to get her a job at the office. She's a terrific, uh, uh... Stenographer. Yeah, stenographer. I couldn't think of the word. Well, that's a hunch. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Well, come on, huh, Butsy? Well, it's kind of late to get in now. Oh, all right, thank you. You and Freddy got something to do? Me? Not a thing in my mind. Come on, Kitty. You're gonna love my She's a great person. I think you take my... Not Hey, what do you do to get a hat around here? Hey, Duke, we had a dickens of a time. Phoned all over. But boy, oh boy, are you lucky. Henrietta walked in, just got off the swing shift at the shipyards. But what are we waiting for, chum? <laughs> <laughs> Glamour boy. <laughs> Realize this girl's possibilities. Mike, this girl on the typewriter is terrific, but terrific. Yeah, look at our files. They look like a rat's nest. Break oh, it up, order. will you? You sound like a couple of salesmen trying to sell an ice box to an Eskimo. But Mike, we only, we only well, thought... Well, get out of here, both of you. I can find out for myself. Oh, listen, Mike. Well, you don't want well, any... Go on, will you? Go on. So, you're that wild man's cousin. <laughs> what a guy. So I remember when he first came with us in San Francisco. 35 or 36, wasn't it? Um, 36, I think. Yeah. It was 32 in Cleveland. And if you're his cousin, I'm Miss Long Beach. Now, what kind of a squeeze play are you three pulling? I figured it wouldn't work anyway. Oh, sit down. I just don't like to be bamboozled, that's all. Now, start talking. I'll make it short. Things were tough. They were getting tougher. Last night, Duke pulled me out of the river. Hmm. Where does Matt come in? Found me in Duke's room when I was drying my clothes. Figured the cousin angle would save Duke some embarrassment. And Duke figured he'd use it on me to get you a job. And Matt fell for it. <laughs> the darling. <laughs> oh, that Duke. <laughs> Don't tell Matt, will you? No. No, I won't tell him. Dear Freddie, thanks for the letter. I know that you are working. How, how about your arm? The news is fine. And if your doctor is right and taking the chip out of the elbow will fix your arm, we can look forward to coming back to the Sox for spring training. Good luck, your friend left who? Brannigan. Brannigan. Well, that's swell, Freddie. Lefty's been managing the Sox for 30 years. What he says goes. Well, then you're all set, kid. Yeah, all I gotta do is get that operation. You know, if Mike wasn't so hard up, I'd hit her for the dough. Oh, well, we'll find something. Come on, toss me a couple. Sure. Okay, Freddie, right here. Me? Where are those baseball clowns? My goodness, it's oh, so you hired her, huh? Oh, yeah. so you hired her. Well, that's swell, Mike. Well, I can do any less for a cousin of yours. Yeah. Well, thanks. Say, this calls for a celebration. Sure, Peggy and I are going to do the town tonight. 
You're no novelty. She's got a date with me. Now, that's very nice of you boys, but I think I ought to get settled. Yeah, that's right. The little girl really ought to rest tonight, Matthew. Yeah, that's a good idea, because I, I got a lot to do myself. Yeah, well, I'll see you around. If there's anything I can do, you just let me know, will you? That's very nice of you. Thanks. All right. Do! Yeah, no, come back here, please! Dad, I thought you were busy tonight. Well, I got my thought. Uh, how'd you like the candy? It's delicious. Simply delicious. <laughs> Come in, Matthew. <laughs> the Great Western should be about... Hi, Mike. Oh, hello, Matt. Well, I've got this thing figured out to a gnat's eyebrow. If we don't put on a night crew, we'll never finish this job on time. Well, that's pretty risky with all the rains we're having. But we've got to put one on. Yeah, but, but we get to run it. What about Duke? 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 Boss a job? Why, he's as wild as a hawk. He had some responsibility. You know what I mean, Matt. If you really put it up to him. She's right, Mike. If we don't put on a night crew, we're sunk anyhow. Shucks. I'm stuck with him and I'm stuck without him. All right, send him up to see me. See you later, Mike. You're a beautiful darling, Mike. I'll do everything in my power to prove worthy of your trust in me. <laughs> You're out of practice. <laughs> well, I finally recognize my talents. Oh, don't be so modest. Speak right up. The new night foreman, me. Duke, I'm glad. Oh, well, you ought to be. You helped a lot, you know. You broke my jinx completely. No more tough luck. <laughs> I do. Say, look, this is my last free night. How about you and me taking in a show, and then maybe afterwards? Not tonight, old boy. The little lady's booked up with me. Oh, yeah? Okay, cuz. But if you expect to have any fun, you better take along a yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> Wise guy. Yo. That's the way I feel about it. Well, I don't agree with you. I don't know what it is. Well, the night shift's being on it, gents. Yeah, the boss came down to throw the first ball. Ah, there'll be no ball throwing tonight. Let's get to work and make monkeys out of Connie's day shift. Come on. Sure. I'd like to see that. Hold it, Mason. And the boys have been talking it over. So what? So we're asking for a different foreman. Where are you? Don't. Come on. What's eating you, Kemp? There's too many crack-ups when he's around. It was bad enough when he was a barman, but for a foreman. Figure you're a better man for the job, huh? At least I'm not a jinx. Nobody gets killed because of me around here. Oh, Duke, you? Mason is man for the job. Now get this. If you're scared to work for Duke, you can quit. And that goes for anybody that feels the same way. Okay, Carney. Come on, fellas. <laughs> so you and the boys decided, huh? Why, you... See Charlie and get your time. <laughs> <laughs> you all know why the night crew was started? 
As far as the jinx is concerned, they're not going to be in the accident. You can bet your Aunt Bessie the rate. Because I'm going to personally take care of the first guy that gets killed. And don't forget, I know all the tricks. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on,
Okay, there you are. I might kick in. What do you want, an annuity? I had things to do with the dough. I'll be seeing you, kids. You know, sometimes I can't figure that guy out. You can't figure it. Mr. Carney, come in. Hello, Mrs. Parska. Hello. This is Miss Starr from the office. How do you do? Very glad to meet you. Sit down, make yourself comfortable. It's so nice of you. Well, you'd love to stay, but you see, we just dropped by. That is, the boys thought you might need some help, and we took up a little collection. Yes, it was awfully nice of them. Oh, then you know about it. Well, of course, Mr. Mason brought the money last night. Mr. Mason? Oh, well, that was from the night gang. This is, this is from the day shift. Oh, but Mr. Carney... Oh, don't say any more spend it pampering their bad habits. Joe had such good friends. Mrs. O'Glendy sends her best to you. Thanks. Thanks for everything. Oh, that's all right. If there's anything we can do anytime, just, just let us know, will you? Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. You know, I still can't figure that guy out. Peggy. Yes? I'm thinking of leaving Mike. Oh, Matt, you wouldn't. Not till we've got the job, Lick. There's a 50-50 chance we will. Somehow I always thought you'd take over. No, I never liked the wrecking racket. Tearing things apart. I, I want to build something. Something that'll stay. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? Doesn't. No, it doesn't. See, I've got my engineer's license and I've got a chance to work on a government project. Oh, that's fine, Matt. I'm not leaving till the Great Western's down. And... Well, Peggy, I... I want you to come with me. What? I'm asking you to marry me. But Matt, you don't know anything about me. Oh, I know you're Duke's cousin, but <laughs> I won't hold that against you. It's not as simple as all that. Maybe I'm wrong, but I... I kind of thought you liked me. You're about the nicest person I've known. But... But... Well, will you give me time to think? Sure, take all the time you need. I can wait. Not on this corner. Get moving. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so late. It is late. It's getting later. What's the matter with you, Mike? Oh, I just came from the job. We got a week to go and there's still six floors standing. I don't think there's any use in even trying. You'd never give up and you know it. I guess not. Well, go on home. Now, what were you doing here in the dark anyway? Thinking. Duke and Matt. How'd you know? Well, Matt's wearing it on his sleeve, and I know Duke like a book. Matt asked me to marry him. And there's still Duke. Do you want an old woman's advice? I need it, Mike. Well, you marry Matt. He's solid and a gent and ambitious. With him, you'd raise a fine family. And you'd always know right where you stood. Now, with Duke, it would be a ride on a roller coaster. You'd never be sure. You'd have a lot of laughs, but a lot of tears, too. Mr. O'Glendy was like Duke. He was a lot of man, though.
see you back again. Thanks. Hey, I've been taking care of your stuff for you. Jay, that's swell. Hey, how was the hospital? Nurses, nurses. You ought to try getting hurt sometime. Hi, Duke! Well, how's the arm healing? What did the doc say? Oh, the bone's knitting perfect. Great. All I gotta do is take it easy and I'll be right in there pitching this spring. Yeah, well, then I'll get Red to team with me on the cannonball. No, I can work. I just can't throw him until he tells me. Otherwise, I might knock the arm out and he'd never be able to fix it again. Well, we'll just lay off that pitching, that's all. Say, Duke, I, uh, I see you got a fine bunch of sidewalk superintendents. <laughs> Look at them. Let's give them that blow-me-down routine. Remember it? through taking bows, I'd like to have a word with you. Oh, what's eating you? The wall's down, ain't it? Too bad it missed you. This is a fine time to be grandstanding. You realize we have only four days to get this pile out of here? You've got no beef with me. My gang is making a sucker out of your gang. Just <laughs> don't get careless in the home stretch, that's all. I don't want anything to happen. It won't. And just to make sure you put that cannonball away. These floors can't stand any more battering. And from here on in, we'll go by hand. All right, panty waste. Have it your own way. Hey, Freddy! We're through with the cannonball. Load around the truck, we'll haul it away. Good night, Matthew. Things have been kind of tough. So? I like my job back. Sorry, I can't do it. Why not? I just can't use you, that's all. Well, yeah, maybe Carney will have something to say about it. Oh, maybe, but you better sober up before you talk to him. I shove off with you, I'm busy. Oh, so now I'm drunk, eh? Why, if it hadn't been I for you... I said shove off. Yeah, I said... Come on, Duke, before you get into trouble. Well, that guy's always getting out of line. Just kidding myself, Freddie. I know it couldn't last. Don't move him. It's 
still unconscious. They give him half a chance, that's all. Oh, Duke. Break cannonball break loose. I don't know. One of them cleats got loose, I guess. Happens sometimes. Not to guys that are careful, it doesn't. What do you mean, careful? Just what I said. Like showing off with that cannonball. I was a chump to let Peggy talk me into giving the crackpot like you a job. Peggy talked you into... Matt, I wish you wouldn't. Never mind, he's got it coming to him. When you let that cannonball crash through, it weakened every joist. And the last five floors of that building are hanging by a thread. We can't go back to work until we reinforce... You realize, Duke, that you ruined every chance for Mike to meet her deadline? Oh, so now I'm a jinx, huh? I break my back keeping that crew working. And just because there's an accident, I'm a jinx. I'm through talking. Go on back to work. Well, you can take your job and... Duke, you don't know what you're doing. How much do you think I can stand? I'm through for good. All right, I'll make out your check. Duke, this is crazy. You can't just quit. No, I'm fed up with this town. I'm going somewhere to get me a man-sized job. And you're coming with me. What? Sure. You and me. We don't need any part of this outfit. Now, wait just a minute. Now, don't get excited. Don't get excited. We'll get married. We'll do it tomorrow, and then we'll blow town, see? That's all there is to it. Sure. Come on, get your coat. Listen, you may be leaving town. But I'm not. Hey, wait a minute. Why not? Because I'm a woman. Not a good luck charm. I told you I'd marry you, didn't I? You made up your mind in an awful hurry. You figured you couldn't leave town without your little rabbit's foot. You're a little late, Duke. I'm going to marry Matt. You, that fathead? That fathead. Well, I never figured you'd run out on me. But if that's the way you want it, good luck to you. Is it set? So you two are going to be married, eh? <laughs> I never thought you'd marry into my family, Matt. Well, has she told you? Told me what? That cousin thing was just a gag, you know. Yeah, she told me. And she must have told you how I picked her up in front of a saloon after she was tossed out for... That's enough. Now I better go in here. Sure, why not? So she told you, huh? Take your coat off. Now you're talking, brother. No, it. no, we've got work to do, I tell you. The back wall's cave sat right down in the courtyard. And with the wind whipping off the lake, the other two are apt to go across 4th Street any minute. Then we've got to haul it down. We certainly have. And right into the courtyard, or we'll have a dozen damage suits on our hands. Come on, Duke. Not me. I'm quitting. Duke. Never mind about him. We need him. No, we don't. Come on, get out of here. Come on, Mike. So you're letting them down. Now, don't you start giving me that show must go on routine. It's no use. I didn't tell him that cousin thing was a lie. When you did, it didn't make any difference. All right, all right. So you're in love with him and you're going to be married. Yes, that's right. You made up my mind for me. I did. You. You big shot running away. You and your hoodoo and your jinx. Well, what about it? You haven't any jinx. You're just yellow. You put up a big front and the minute anybody called you, you quit. <laughs> Get who's talking about quitting. Yeah. Get who's talking. I couldn't take it either, so I tried the river. And who pulled me out? Who gave me a lot of big talk about keeping on punching? And I believed it. Now I know. It was just a lot of talk. Just another chance to grandstand. Now, wait a minute, Peggy. I almost loved you that night. Even when you tried to make a watch charm out of me. 
I begged them to give you the job because I thought you'd see it through. Well, I tried. I did everything I could think yeah, of. Yeah, everything but stick. But you'll never be any different. You'll always be running away from the great big nothing you call a jinx. I never needed as much as you do. Keep them on straight. What are you figuring on? Take the hooks fast and pull the walls in. These walls are liable to go any second. We'll hold till we get the tackle set. Don't do it. I'm afraid of those walls. Patty, you're getting soft, Mike. We've had tougher ones than this. Keep those lines clear, Freddy. Yeah. Matt, I'm telling you, Duke Mason? He's not here. What do you want? Well, I'm from the hospital. His workman, Emil Tanzi, just came to and wanted me to give him a message. What message? You know a guy by the name of Kent or Kemp? Yeah, Tom Kemp. Well, this fellow in the hospital saw Kemp pull the blocks out from under the cannonball and cut it loose. He did? Well, that's what he said, and he wanted Mason to know about it. We notified the police. Oh, well, thanks. Uh, how's Emil? He's pretty bad. Then we blame Duke. Oh, Mike, we've got to tell him. and you yourself will be saved. Help your brother when he needs you and never fall. That's the message we want to put in your heart. Help your brother when he needs you and never fall. That's the road to true happiness. Friends, I recognize one among us here tonight who knows from his own experience that what I say is true. Help your brother in his hour of need for your reward is swift and sure. Speak up, brother. Tell them, is that the truth? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right, brother. Yeah. There, you see, friends. That's the message we want you to take away. Help your brother in his hour of need. Help him when he needs you. No answer. Matt! Look out! No! The wall's cracking! I'm foreman on this job. Well, if you're foreman, you better get busy or that guy on that wall is a dead duck. 
bolus, will you? Hey. Mike! There's Duke! Duke! We've been looking all over for you. Well, you change your tune pretty quick. Emil sent a message. Tom Kemp using the cannonball. Kemp, huh? <laughs> I'd have figured that one out. Who, uh, who's up there? It's Matt. Matt? <laughs> well, I'm a rat if I don't, and I'm a chump if I do. So I'm a chump. Here, hold this. And a hat. Come on, get off of there and let a guy who knows how do it. Uh, Pick care of gloves. That's a pet, too. Pick care of You think you could wish me luck just once more? Thanks. Well, here we go. Send you with that ladder, boys. pick your spots, don't you? How do you feel? Great! We'll at least make our deadline. Look, aren't we the lucky ones? They reduce the rate. <laughs> Look, you shouldn't have come up here. All right, I shouldn't have come up here. Say, listen, Matt. Peggy is strictly on the level, you know. You didn't have to tell me that. <laughs> you got a pack of cards? We at least have time for one game of gin rummy. They do. Look. That apartment roof across the street. They could run a line from there to here. All right, let's call the telephone company. No kidding. It's our only chance. If somebody could pitch a line from there to here. Well, that's 150 feet, Matt. With this wind blowing. Uh, well, well, what about Freddy? You're always bragging what a great pitcher he is. Oh, no, not Freddy. If he pitched now, he'd ruin his arm forever. Hey, hey, Red's got a good arm. Hey, Red! Red, listen! This rock will be heavy enough, Red. Yeah, sure it will. That's tight enough, Freddy. I don't forget, Red, you gotta figure on the wind. Okay, I'll make it. There you go. I 
compared to that buddy, you're wrong. Get out of the way! But you're wrong! Enough time as it is. Now's your chance, baby. Now's the time. Don't, don't, buddy! Don't pitch! Clear day, I can see the most beautiful wife a guy ever had. Honey, we'll miss our train. Yeah. Gee, I wonder where they went. <laughs> this wouldn't be so tough, Mike. Why, we can wreck this in less time than it takes to say. Oh!